I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will discuss slope of tangent line for absolute function. The question here is show that the slope of the tangent line at origin is not defined for absolute function f of x equals to absolute x. This is one of the most important questions you will come across and uh, this question can be asked in many different ways. Let me first sketch uh, the function itself absolute x is equals to y equals to x when x is greater than or equal to 0 and is minus of x when x is less than 0. So that is how it looks like, right? Now on this axis we have x here and that is our function uh, y equals to absolute x. What we need to show is that the slope of the tangent line at origin is not defined. So we'll use difference quotient method to find the slope of the tangent line. So let us say slope of the tangent line at x equals to 0 is equals to f of 0 plus h minus f of 0 divided by h where the limit h approaches 0. So that is the definition of slope at any given point. Now as far as the absolute x function is concerned we can write limit h approaches 0 f of x is absolute x so we could write this as absolute uh, let me write 0 plus h okay minus f of 0 means absolute 0 so we are substituting 0 for x divided by divided by h so, so what you get really here is that its limit h approaches 0 and in the numerator you get absolute h and in the denominator you get h. So that is the slope of the tangent for the absolute function as we approach 0. Now what happens when h is negative. When you are approaching 0, we need to find the limiting value of absolute h over h. Now to find this limiting value, what we need to do is to find limit as h approaches 0 from the left side, that means minus, right, of absolute h over h. And we have to also find the limit when h approaches 0 from the positive side of absolute h over h. You get the concept, right? So we are approaching 0. So let us see what value do we approach when we approach from the left side and when we approach from the right side. If these two limits are exactly same, in that case the limit exists. Otherwise, this limit does not exist, right? Now, when, when h is less than 0, right? So when when h is less than 0, then absolute h equals to minus h, correct? And you know when h is greater than 0, then absolute h is equals to plus h. That is how the absolute function is defined, correct? So let me redefine it right here for you. So absolute h could be defined as h when x is greater than or equal to 0 or minus h when x is less than 0. Perfect. So we use this basic definition of absolute function here. Now in this case, when we are approaching from the left side, then absolute h is equals to minus h. So we could write this as limit h approaches 0 from negative side. It becomes minus h over h, which is minus 1. On the other hand, what do we get? We get limit h approaches 0 from positive side. Absolute h is plus h over h equals to plus 1. Now these two limits you can see. If you are approaching from the left side, the limit is negative 1. You can see the slope of this line is also negative 1, right? And on the right side, the slope is positive 1. You can see that. But basically, both the limits are not equal. So these limits from the left side and from the right side are not equal. Since they are not equal, so we'll write here since limit 
of h approaching 0 from negative side for absolute h over h is not equal to the limit as h approaches 0 from the positive side for absolute h over h we say that slope of the tangent at x equals to 0 does not exist do you understand since the limit does not exist right or we could say from here the limit this this limit does not exist correct so limit when h approaches 0 for absolute h over h does not exist since the limit from the left side is not equal to limit from the right side as you've seen limit from the left side is minus 1 the limit from the right side is plus 1 right so that is how you could actually prove it using difference quotient method earlier we have proved that you know at this point you know here you can draw a tangent which will have a positive one slope here you can draw a tangent which will have negative one slope here this is a corner right so at a corner you could draw any kind of tangent do you see that we don't know which one we are talking about and that is how we explained earlier that uh, the tangent doesn't exist at the vertex and in the next chapter we will talk about differentiability or rate of change and then again we'll use similar concepts to prove it and that makes this question extremely important to understand i hope that helps i'm anil kumar you can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot thank you and all the best